Hey guys, before the video starts, just to let you know that these videos are not for kids. Just to give you a warning, because it will contain so many flashes, loud noises, and maybe a little bit of languages, I guess. But now, on to the video. She was on vacation with her husband, and they were scoping out graveyards on the way. As you do, when she saw it, rising out of the old cemetery, big as an old telephone pole. Was this some kind of bizarre art piece the authorities hadn't gotten wise to yet? Even as she stepped out of the car, the megaphones on its head screeched to light. 9, 18, 1. Child. 17. Remove. File. A buzzing double voice screamed random words at her. At this point, it jerked into motion, striding down the hill towards her. Siren Head is an urban legend creature, mainly known for its odd appearance. Siren Head is mostly some type of strange looking creature has been made. It has no full name or anything, it just calls itself as Siren Head. No gene or anything. Just it. Because it's created by Trevor Henderson, who created so many images about these type of creatures he made. That's only shown in Instagram. And they've been spreading around the entire websites, around the Googles, YouTubes, and even getting a games. <laughs> you know, this one got a game as well. Siren Head is a 40 feet tall humanoid skinny creature with two sirens as in his head. Siren Head is a 40 feet tall humanoid skinny creature with two sirens as its head. Its arms are as long as its legs are. The first depiction of Siren Head was at the graveyard, where a photograph of Siren Head standing in the middle of the graves appeared. Siren Head speaker randomly played odd music, pieces of conversation, and various words and numbers. Siren Head mainly lures in its victims with the voices of their loved ones. As they expect, the Siren Head is very hostile and dangerous. Siren Head is mainly located in royal towns and wooden areas. The victims of Siren Head are lost travelers, hikers, and even little children. If the sounds of someone is distressed and released, it can be method of Siren Head trying to lure the victims into the woods. Since the Siren Head can blend in very well with trees. People do not even know the Siren Head, so it could make its brutal attack at any time and get captured while the screams of the victims are being played from Siren Head sirens. Siren Head is a manifestive of fear, anxiety, and war. Siren Head sound echoes into the victim's mind and creates a clear vision of not having a long time the victim's start would also start rising rapidly when they are close to the Siren Head. Now, the first sighting of Siren Head occurred in 1966, when a family on vacation in Arizona desert captured an image of Siren Head 20 years later on 16-7-1995. Chad and his friends were hiking in the woods of Tanyard Creek, where they found Siren Head to be lurking. According to Chad, his friends got snatched by something gigantic, striding through the trees, which mimicked their voices. Chad was found alive with a few injuries while the friends were gone, either taken or killed by Siren Head. In total, there have been nine reports of sighting the Siren Head. All of the stories got released by the victims, such as a photo of Siren Head in Indiana where citizens started disappearing, and Siren Head appeared on the streets of Indiana. Although those incidents are the first depictions of Siren Head, ancient rocks paintings of Siren Head had been found all over North America, which indicates that Siren Head is in the new species of Earth, that there have been also sightings of creatures that resemble Siren Head, but they lack similar features. For example, a photo of Siren Head got leaked, where Siren Head appears to be having a head, the streetlight, in which Siren Head is trying to blend in 
with the other street lights. It's very possible that Zarin Head has the ability to transform into various structures in order to resemble and lure its victims. However, there are theories that Zarin Head is actually a hostile species, that there used to be a lot of similar same creatures as Zarin Head, which diseased, and Zarin Head is the last remaining of the species. If you're hearing this, folks, be careful. Who knows what this creature might be around. If it is, well, good luck. <laughs>